Hello guys! In this brief video I will show you my new content pack which is available for Civil 3D 2022 and especially useful for Pipe Network uh, toolset users. This content pack has been available for several years but starting from version 2022 I have been able to rebuild it from scratch and now it includes only plastic pipes and all those pipes are divided into generic but also manufacturer-based um, folders. And when it comes to standard or European standard-based content, then you can find much wider range of pipe diameters. But let's take a deep dive into this content pack, how to download, how to install, and what makes it different from the others. First step, of course, will be to go to Autodesk uh, App Store. And from here, you can quite easily find Pipe Network catalog for EU market. You can search. You can also find this content pack from my homepage. And obviously, from here, you can find some guidelines, which I'm talking in this video as well. But in addition to Pipe Network content, I have been also developing pressure network content, but also something for Autodesk Revit users. But in this video, of course, we focus on the Pipe Network. And uh, from this description, you can see which standards are included. And once again, I want to point out that um, this content pack has been divided into several folders. And uh, during installation, of course, you can pick which one to include. And uh, some words about uh, generic content. As you see, those um, diameters or the range of diameters is quite large if you are using uh, generic components. But in here you have less information available in terms of, let's say, as-built models. So if at some point you want to include some additional data, then of course you may want to use some manufacturer-based content. And I have also developed one example, which is PipeLife. And uh, in here you can see, again, uh, different products. And those products do have uh, also additional parameters available. And all those parameters can be pulled into labels or takeoffs or whatever you want to do with your models in Civil 3D. But let's download and let's install it. So first of all, you have to use your Autodesk account to be able to download. It's currently free, so it's quite an easy workflow how to download. It's a setup.exe. I will include it onto my desktop. So save. It's about uh, 10 megabytes. And now I will find it and install it. So once you downloaded this setup, then you can double click and you have to do an extra click in terms of user account control or any Windows notification, which enables you to install this content pack. So yes, and then you can move forward. You can then accept the agreement, license agreement and hit next again. Then you can select the default content pack path by default, uh, it is a Civil 3D 2022 pipes catalog, which uh, by default looks like uh, this. And additional folders will be included into this location. But if you do prefer to install it to somewhere else, also maybe you want to include it into your network drive, then you can obviously do that as well. So I keep a default location and then I hit next once again. I get a notification that uh, I do already have my pipes catalog. Don't be afraid, nothing will be overwritten because all content in this content pack do have their own naming. I will just click yes and now you can select uh, which particular content packs you want to include. Please be aware that uh, if you use lower resolution um, screens, uh, this dialog may be squeezed and uh, you maybe don't see each and every row. But basically, you can select full installation or custom installation. Custom installation will let you pick if you want to install only generic content or maybe also manufacturer specific content. I encourage you to install both because then you see the difference in terms of properties that has been included in different versions. So I click next and then I get a confirmation what will be included and install. Once installation is finished, you click finish and then you can open up the same folder again. As you see, you have separate folders 
for E and plastic pipes generic, also pipe life, also structures generic, and also additional information EN support files. This EN support files is especially important if you want to use those generic structures because from here you can find templates folder and those templates should be included into your Civil 3D default templates location. But as always, if you start overwriting something, then you have to ensure that uh, you do have a backup. So if I, for example, select all this folder and uh, copy, I will show you into where it should go. It's ENU, it's content library, and then templates. And before you actually overwrite this folder, I encourage that uh, you do a uh, zipping or just uh, copy this folder to somewhere else. But uh, if you haven't used uh, any other templates or maybe uh, if you haven't um, reconfigured or edited any of those templates, then you should be safe enough to copy those into this folder anyway. You also have an uninstallation. So if you want to remove all those folders in one go, then uh, this uninstallation.exe is available. But let's now move forward into Civil 3D and let's see the difference how to use this content packs and uh, what are those available properties or attributes um, which are directly pulled from those content packs. I do have my Civil 3D 2022 opened up and also I do have a default drawing using default template but those steps can be saved into your own template so that you don't have to do that uh, again and again. I will start um, pointing to my new content by selecting create design and then set pipe network catalog. From here I will start from EN plastic pipes generic. I will keep the same structure catalog in both examples EN structures and hitting OK. Now I move forward to settings tab in my tool space, finding pipe network, parts lists and create parts list. Then I give a recognizable name, maybe this will be EN generic, and I include some pipes. Right click, add part family, and as you see, I can select in between different standards. And those standards are divided into non pressure or pressure based on particular standard. If I select uh, some pipe, let's say PE100 and SDR17, and hitting OK. I can then move forward and select different sizes. So add part size, no differences in here. I just select which one I want to include and I hit OK. If you want to, you can remove those independently. But right now I move forward to structure tab. In here, I also include some additional content, add part family. And from here I can see EN structures. This is the same as in previous version currently. Select, for example, inlet structures 560, or you can include any structure you want from your own catalog. So I hit OK. I also include some sizes, add part size, and selecting all of those by hitting OK. I do have some diameters. Now I hit OK, and let's do example drawing. I select pipe network and pipe network creation tools. Now I select my EN generic. And then, because I don't have any surface, I will do a general layout. I hit OK, and then I select my custom structure, and also some diameter of my generic pipe. I then ensure that I do have pipes and structures. I do a left click, and then I zoom in to ensure that uh, in this example, I just draw maybe up to 100 of my pipeline. Now, this is a uh, general feature of Civil 3D that if you want to have a curvature in your pipeline, then instead of uh, going straightly forward, you can right click and select curve. Then if you select the second point, you can add additional curvature to your pipeline. And because plastic pipelines quite often can have a small curvature in pipe trench, then you can more easily do as built or more exact drawings. I do a second left click and now my pipeline or pipe is included and let's check those attributes or properties. I select my pipe, 
I do a right click and then pipe properties. And from my part properties, I can see that I do have a lot more properties included. Obviously, I do have a reference standard, which is currently EN12201. But I also have pipe series, standard dimensional ratio, pressure nominal, design coefficient, if it's available in the standard, but also field of application, which is more general, because this standard is applicable for water drainage and sewerage. In addition, I do have inner pipe diameter and also wall thickness, which obviously depends on SDR class. In addition, I have classification system and table and code, which is by default filled in with CCI, but using part builder, you can change that as well. But of course, you can see that some values are not filled in or they are undefined. For example, manufacturer or manufacturer source, also product type, connection type, transport type, form type, and some other parameters like color, weight. So let's do now a second example in where you see a difference in terms of properties, parameters that are included based on manufacturer data sheet. I hit OK. I close my property tool set. And now I will change my content path or catalog folder, however you call it. So I set pipe network catalog. Now I select EN Plastic Pipes Pipe Life, Pipe Life as a manufacturer. I keep the same structure catalog. I hit OK and generate a new parts list. I give a name, maybe this time EN Pipe Life Pipes and right click and add part family. Now you can see the difference, but again, all products are divided into same key structure based on standard. But under this standard, you then see different products. Also, if you scroll down, then you can see that uh, particular images are included. If I try to find out the same standard as I used before, I can do that. For example, it is EN12201 and maybe I select pressure sewerage. I select again, maybe SDR17 content. I hit OK and now I include additional sizes. I select all, I hit OK and structures. Now I add the same part family in here. No difference in here. I hit OK and also some sizes. Now I'm ready to draw a second pipeline using this manufacturer specific content. So again, I will fire up my pipe network creation tools. Now I select EN Pipe Life. I select OK. I select my inlet structure and then also some pipe thighs. And as you see in here, the list is much more limited because depending on country, all pipe diameters are not available or reasonable to produce because there are also cast iron pipes and as such, which might be cheaper. So I select uh, one of my pipe in here, let's say 400, and I draw a second pipeline. But now maybe just a straight one. I hit escape. I select my pipe again and right click and pipe properties. Now, if I scroll down part properties, I can see that uh, some of my additional properties are now filled in. For example, manufacturer, also manufacturer source. Field of application is now limited to sewerage because this specific product is for sewerage. And that is the reason why we have a color black orange stripe included in here. In addition, I may have also weight included if it's available at manufacturer website. For example, in here I have kilograms per meter. So it's 28.3 kilograms per meter. And it can be used to calculate maybe a transport mass. So transport type is also included. This product is available in PAR, or at least this size is available in PAR. Also connection type and some other properties. And all those properties can be pulled into your labels or any takeoffs you want to do inside Civil 3D. So to conclude this part, as you see, you have um, different possibilities using this content pack. You have much wider range of pipe diameters based on standard based content. But if we move forward to manufacture content, which is also standard based, so standard reference is given. But in here, we now depend on specific product and its availability and also sizes that are 
referenced from manufacturer website. In some cases, we have that uh, some pipe diameters are from one country and some different sizes are from different country. They are included into the same table. So I hit OK. And one more thing I want to point out because as you saw, those pipes do have outside and inside pipe diameters, which can be also drawn out or presented in your Civil 3D drawing. If I zoom in and if I select my pipe, I then do a right click and edit pipe style. Display tab and view direction is plan. I open up visibility of pipe center line and also outside pipe walls. If I hit OK, I can now see that uh, my pipe do have um, exactly the same wall thickness as it is in the content pack. And because it's coming from the standard or manufactured data sheet, then it can be trusted. Also, um, because if you move forward to some calculation packages like uh, storm and sanitary analysis from Autodesk, then it becomes more important that um, you use inside pipe diameter. And from this content pack, the correct pipe diameter will be taken over. So you can get more precise calculations based on content you pick, content you design, etc. Okay, that's about um, this content pack, which has been released for Civil 3D 2022. But um, it should be uh, possible to use it also in previous versions. 2021, 2020, though just try it out. And if you have any comments, you can comment directly below the video, or you can also add comments into Autodesk uh, App Store. So feel free to contact and feel free to include comments what you would like to see in the next release. Bye bye.